Once you finish recording and leave the studio, you'll be taken here. To start editing, just click edit. This is what Riverside's video editor looks like. On the right, you have the video, and the left-hand side, you have the transcript. If you hit play or hit the space bar, you can see as the video plays, it's gonna highlight the word being spoken and the transcript along the left-hand side. It's really easy to actually make edits to your footage using the transcript. So for example, if I wanna get rid of this section here, I can highlight it and just hit delete. If I play back the footage, you can see that it skips over this. One of the things you'll notice is it strikes through or grays out the text that's being deleted, and it's also gray down below. If you just wanna see what's in the video, you can toggle off what it says here, show deleted text. So if we turn it off, it'll collapse everything down, and you'll just see the spoken text, and you'll see what's actually being played in the video. But don't worry, nothing here is permanent. If you wanna add anything back in later, you can revert the changes you've made. One of the other nice things with the Riverside is it separates who's speaking. So you can see the titles of JJ and Laura in yellow and purple. And then in the timeline down below, you also see the colors depending on who's speaking at any given point. Another thing you can do with the text editor is you can move pieces of the video around. So if I hit Command X, it's going to cut out this section. And then I want to find the point where I want to insert this footage and I can hit Command V, so paste. I'm going to just undo this though. So if I hit Command Z, it'll one, delete the paste. And then if I hit Command Z again, it'll undo the cut. And so it basically put everything back where it was. You can also click on this icon up above to undo anything that you've changed. Another great thing you can do with the transcript is you can search it. So instead of having to scrub through the footage to find something, you can see here, I just type in interview, shows up four times in the video, and then I can find the part that I'm looking for, and then much more quickly make any necessary changes. If I wanna add anything to the transcript, I can hover over a section like this, hit the plus icon, and then it gives me the following options. I could insert a recording, I could insert edits, I could upload something, add music, add an AI voice, an empty section, record, add a new chapter, or a new scene. Let's check out the AI voice. Let's type in the coolest things in sliced bread, then click on generate AI voice. So this is gonna take a second to process. Let's move on with the tutorial and come back to it. If you'd like to give Riverside a try, you can sign up for a free account using the link in the description. If you end up upgrading to one of their paid plans, you can get 15% off either the first three months of a monthly plan or the full first year if you use the code thefigco at checkout. One thing I forgot to mention earlier, the bold text you see right here, these are chapters that Riverside creates automatically. They're really easy to edit though. So if you click on the three dots, you have the option to rename, remove, or copy. Let's rename this one, just deleting the introduction to, so it just says personal branding. You can also add additional chapters. Scroll to a section like this, hover over it, click the plus icon, and then click on new chapter. Let's make this one grow a YouTube channel. Along the top of the timeline, you can also see and make changes to the chapters. Let me now show you how you can make changes to the timeline. Right now it's zoomed all the way out. So to zoom in, click on the plus right here. And let's make changes to this part right here. Let's say we want to delete the very end of this clip. Let me show you two different ways to do it. The first way, you can click on split right here. So now it creates two different clips from one. Then I can click on it and hit delete. And this end of the clip is now gone. If I hit Command Z twice, I can undo the delete and then undo the split. The other way to delete the very end of this clip is to grab the very end of the clip and then drag it to the left to the point where I want it to end. Also, it's really easy to move footage around the timeline. I can click on this clip and then drag it here. Let's, let's just move it back where it was. Here, if I wanted, I could add another chapter. Let's make it chapter one and a half. Instead of showing everything on one track, I can expand it here and then it'll separate my audio from Laura's audio. Then it allows me to make some additional changes. If I wanted to just listen to one track, I can click on solo track and I can just hear my voice, for example. Here you can view the track settings, which will open up along the right-hand side. So you can adjust the volume levels. So maybe I was speaking quieter than her. And so I could adjust that here. So we're at more or less the same level. I can also apply magic audio or hide the video. I could mute this clip if I needed to. And then here are the magic tools. So we have magic audio and magic mute. So if I clicked on magic audio right here, it would improve the audio for this particular clip. Magic mute, what that does is it mutes the points where I'm not speaking. So for example, if I have the air conditioner up here running right now and it's making a bunch of noise, I don't want that running while I'm being quiet and my guest is trying to speak. So I can silence all of that if I apply the magic mute. You can see it'll gray out all the places where I'm not speaking. Then why don't we apply the same thing to Laura's track? Let's collapse this down again, combining the two audio tracks. Now let me show you how to add something to the timeline. If you hover between two clips, you'll see the plus icon. 
Then you'll have the option to add recordings, edits, uploads, music, AI voice, empty section, or record. If I want to upload something, it'll give me the option for images, videos, or audio. I also have access to all the other recordings from our other interviews. Riverside makes it super easy to change the format of the video. So right now we're editing something that's 16 by nine. So this would be used for YouTube or Spotify. We could change it to one to one, which would be for LinkedIn, X, or Instagram or nine by 16, which would be for YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, or TikTok. You also have the option for audio only. Then along the right, the first thing we have is the AI producer. The first feature is set pace. So this will take out pauses in the video. We have the original on the far left-hand side, so no changes. Natural takes out any pauses of three seconds or more. Balanced is a second and a half or more. Fast is any pauses over a second. You can see that we didn't have a whole lot of pauses here. This is the only one taken out so far is if we go with fast. And then super fast are all pauses. So this would take out 30 pauses from this video. And then you could click on apply and it'll take them out for you. Here you can apply smooth speech. So it'll remove filler words and any other unwanted sounds. Magic mute, that's something I showed you earlier on the individual tracks. You can come in here and revert it though, if you want to get rid of it. Then we have magic audio that would be applied to the three different tracks. Here we have the three different tracks. We have me, Laura, and the AI voice. Within branding, you have a bunch of options, so we could add a logo. This is for greater than enough, our personal finance channel. You can choose the position and change the opacities. You can see it shows up here in the top right-hand corner. Let's, let's get rid of it though. We also have a color palette, design options, captions, intro, and outro. Within the layout, you can choose how the different videos are gonna show up. So for example, if we choose fit and grid, it'll show the two 16 by nine videos side by side. I tend to prefer the fill option that looks like this. You can also select smart scenes, which will go back and forth between showing one person on screen, then the other, depending on who's speaking. And at other points, it'll show both people on screen at the same time. We can also add music. Riverside has a bunch of its own options, or you can upload any music you'd like. Let's add town market. To see this better, why don't I zoom out a little bit? And let's not add the whole song so I can grab the end of it and then drag it down to only show up during this section. Something like that. And then if I click on the three dots, it gives me the option for volume and effects, replace or remove. Let's turn the volume down to make sure we can hear the person speaking over the top of the music. We can also have the music fade in and fade out. Here we can add captions. If you hover over the different option, you can see how they're animated. If you click on one of them, it gives you a bunch of options to customize. You can change the style, the font, the size, how many lines it is, the colors, and more. And then if you wanna remove the captions, you can click on captions again and then remove captions down here at the bottom. Here under uploads, you can upload something new or have access to anything you previously uploaded. If you want to record something new, you can click record here and then it'll jump into Riverside Studio. We have a whole tutorial for that. So if you want to learn how to record videos, check out the video in the description below. Here you can add images. You can either search for royalty free images that Riverside gives you access to or upload any image you'd like. I almost forgot. Let's listen to the AI voice clip that I created. The coolest thing since sliced bread. Being that we're talking about sliced bread, maybe we can find an image of one. There we go. Let's drag the corners to fill up the screen and move it to the middle. Something like that. And then we can stretch it over top of this clip. Something like that. And then if we let it play, it'll look like that. We can add text that gives us options for titles, subtitles, text, speaker labels, and styles. Move the text to where we want to show up on screen. Also, don't worry, the text will show up on top of any image you add. We can change the style, font, size, color, and more. It's always a good idea before exporting the video to double check your work. I recommend watching the video from beginning to end, and if you're happy with it, now it's time to export. Before exporting though, let me point out one more thing. You have a few other options here. You can download the transcript, subtitles, copy the transcript, and copy the chapter list. You have the option to export the video or audio only. For the video, you'll select the video quality. You can remove the watermark. You can normalize the audio levels as well as remove any background noise. Then click export video. You can either go directly to the exports or continue to make changes. If you just wanna export the audio, you can select the audio quality, so WAV or MP3. You can normalize the audio levels and remove any background noise if you need to. When you're ready, click on export audio. If we go to exports, it'll take us to this screen. If we scroll down, we have all of our edits and you'll see the two versions that are being exported right now, the audio version and the video version. 
Well, that's how easy it is to edit a video with Riverside. If you haven't yet signed up for a Riverside account, you can do that with the link in the description. If you upgrade to a paid plan, don't forget to use the code thefigco at checkout to save 15%. Now, if you'd like to learn how to record videos with Riverside, check out the video up above or to live stream, watch the video down below. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.